What is up my friends? Today we're going to be playing Contra Rogue Core for the PS4. And uh, here it is right here. I got it yesterday in the mail. Pre-ordered. We're going to review it and also we're going to compare it to a, an old favorite of mine for the PS2, Neo Contra, right after this. Playing the game for like the last 12 hours or so, I've come to really enjoy this game. I, I love it, actually, to be honest with you. And I'm, it's coming from an old school Contra fan from, from the Nintendo days. Dual stick analog games have been around for a long time. Like, uh, I remember playing my first dual stick shooter was uh, Robotron, if you guys remember Robotron from like the early 80s. One of my favorites. So, I'm a big fan of shooters, smups in general, run and gun shooting games. And um, this dual stick shooter in Contra Road Court, it's pretty good. Hell yeah! So this is the main hub where you can access all your menus. Right here you have your surgery center where you can um, upgrade your upgrade body parts. When you upgrade each body part, it's kind of like, you know, that's the RPG elements within this game where you'll, you'll add certain attributes to uh, help you out. And over here you have the workshop where you'll upgrade and customize your weapons. Really cool. Which, you know, I didn't know this kind of stuff uh, existed. Here you can check your profile. Right here you'll access all your missions. This is where you'll be able to set up a single player mode. You have you have the public room where you can go and hook up and meet up with someone, a you know, PlayStation friend, and uh, play the game co-op. You can also browse. You can also browse rooms that already have people in there, or you can play a private room. And you have your couch co-op. And with these modes, you can play up to four players at once on couch co-op. And with the networking, you can play uh, between two to eight players. There's also a competitive gameplay online mode, which I haven't really got into yet because you know, I've only put in about. 15 hours of gameplay so far, and I'm not even, I didn't even put in a, a, a dent in the amount of missions that I have to play. This game's challenging, and it's, it's something that's going to keep you busy for a while. This game has really good replay value. Here are your playable characters. You have Kaiser, Miss Harakiri. You have the Hungry Beast in this cybernetic panda you, you learn. That's what he is. He's a, a, a robotic panda with a human brain. And then you have the gentleman, which is pretty cool, this little alien. He's, he's a lot of fun to use. And I, I also, uh, since I pre-ordered the game, you, you get uh, two unlockable skins to change up uh, the panda's outfits. So maybe there'll be more additional download content coming later on. There's other areas also in the back where you can uh, test out the weapons that you upgrade. You can get uh, targeting practice. And you have like, these brains over here, which I don't really know what significance they have. Maybe that this gate opens up later in the game and I can access some other part. I'm not sure yet. Here's another section where you can also practice your gun. And I, I like these views. I think the, ga the game will, will switch views on you depending on you know the mission. Sometimes there'll be areas where you're side scrolling, kind of like platforming. The bulk of the game is like an isometric view, but you also see views like this where you're in the third person, which is one of my favorite views while you're playing this game. So here's a, here's a, a famous panda that, that everyone's intrigued to, to learn about. And I don't know, he's, he's pretty cool. I, it's just a big bulky character. I kind of like to use like the smaller, slender, quicker characters. To each his own, right? Each character is equipped with their own dancing moves, so, you know, that's very important. <laughs> so let's get into the gameplay. The game... It's a pretty fast-paced run-and-gun shooter, dual stick, just like we mentioned earlier. Um, the game tends to mix it up, where you, you know you progress through the levels, and you know it doesn't feel repetitive. The controls are, are pretty simple. I mean, each character has two weapons: a primary, a primary weapon, and their special weapon. Pressing R2 will fire your weapon. R1 is your to fire your special weapon, which will recharge after like 25 seconds. You can use it again and again. Then you have, you know, the right stick is, is for your accuracy, for your aim. The X button and the L1 button, they will double as the same as your jump button. And the L2 will be your dodge button. 
As you dodge, you'll be invincible, so you'll be able to, to avoid getting hit. And um, you can also bump into the, like the larger enemies and kind of and stun them. You can stun them and, and wind up using your fatality move, which each character has their own unique move. Kind of cool. This game reminds me of Neo Contra for the PlayStation 2 that came out in the early 2000s. It kind of follows a similar recipe, but I think it uh, obviously improved on the on the graphics and gameplay. Here's some footage from Neo Contra. You can see it's it's you know it's pretty similar. And uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, Neo Contra. This game was uh, a really good one for the PS2. You know they kind of um, you know they, they changed from you know, your side-scrolling run and gun shooter uh, that you knew of from the, in the 80s and 90s, and uh, they brought you something different. You know, PlayStation 2. And that's what this. That's, and, and that's what Contra World Core is doing. It's, it's going to bring you another modern version of, uh, of Contra for a new generation. And, and it's definitely going to get a lot of uh, replay value on my end. I, I, I purchased the game for... Originally, the, the retail price was $39.99. And I noticed when my game shipped, it, it was reduced to $33.99. So I think for, for $33.99, it's a good game. I mean... If you're a Contra fan, I think you'll enjoy it. But uh, also, I don't feel like you need to run out and get it right away. Uh, you know, in six months, this game will probably be $15, $20, and it's even a better value, in my opinion. I love the way that, you know, the camera switches it up. Like, if you look here, the third-person view is just a lot of fun. The game is always, you know, changing things up on you. And uh, I'm, I'm, re I'm really looking forward to seeing more of what the game has for me. I mean, I only got through the first few boards it's, it's challenging, and I'm playing it on standard, moderate difficulty. There's three options. You can play on the harder difficulty and the novice settings. I'm playing on the moderate settings. So anyway, my thoughts on this game is I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I would recommend it. Um, even at the retail price of $34, um, I would recommend this game. You know, it, it's a game that fills a, a certain um, niche. There's, there's different types of Contra fans, you know, you have Contra fans that are just hardcore to the original 8-bit, 16-bit versions, and, um, you know, when uh, Contra evolved to the PlayStation 2, they kind of changed the recipe you know, of the game, and a lot of people didn't like that, so it depends on what kind of Contra fan you are. If you're, like, for me personally, I'm a fan of all the Contra games, I enjoy what the, the, the original side-scrolling games had to offer, and I enjoy, and I also enjoy the modern experience. So that will depend on, on you personally whether you should get this game or not. Um, so yeah, um, that's all I really got to say for, the, for this game. I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah, so I also wanted to mention that um, I got the Lock and Loaded Edition, which comes with the, uh, the free skins. Yeah, I'm going to keep playing this game. I'm going to have some, some more fun. I took off today to, to, uh, to play it all day and, and make a video. So. Um, I'm really enjoying myself. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. See you later.